Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Now I'm super excited to do today's video. We are doing another Christmas craft and in previous years we've made centerpieces and I'm going to make the 2020 centerpiece for you now. If you have missed any of my previous videos then do check back. I've got loads and loads, I've got loads of different playlists, loads of different videos and if you'd like to then I'd love you to subscribe and to be part of our YouTube family as well. We've also got a Facebook and an Instagram and there Becky's Crafts and Goodies on both of those as well so please feel free to join because we are a very very friendly bunch. So without further ado let's pop on and start our Christmas centrepiece. Right, so we'll start and build the display up now and I'm going to show you the things that I bought from the range. So to start with, I picked up one of these. This is a white poinsettia and silver bauble pick. It was 3 99 and as you can see, it's quite full. So you've got the baubles on it. You've got various different greenery. There's the poinsettia flower there. And I liked it because it wasn't, it wasn't too bright. Like some of the greens are a bit bright and I like them when they're sort of not pastel green, but when they're toned down in colour, if you see what I mean. So I picked up two of those. So we need two identical for the display. And I also got some of these. These are Glitter Leafy Eucalyptus Spray. And that was 3 39 And that's what that looks like. And again, it's the same kind of light green tones. And I got two of those. I also bought three of these. Now, I love these. These were 149 which I thought was a fab price. It's pink with gold glitter flower clip. So that's what the, the flowers look like. And they feel like a velvet kind of colour. And there's sequins and glitter that go around. There's this really cool gem in the middle. And I just thought they were so pretty. They're right up my street. And they've got a clip on the end there so you can clip them onto things. So these would look really nice on a tree as well. Or even... In a bedroom so if you've got maybe some foil curtains or some curtains that go back you could use those as a tie back that would look really cute as a tie back so i've got three of those which we'll be using and i also bought one of these candles this is um, an led candle so it's not a real one because of safety wise i thought we'd be better off getting a fake one this was 199 and because it's silver and glittery i thought it would go really really nice because there's silver kind of tones in the other flowers, that's why I picked a silver one. If I was just picking out these, I would have gone for a gold one. But I held it up in the shop and it does go really nice. So I've got one of those. It's got the like, LED flicker inside. Now, we will also need something else to give us some height on the candle. And this is actually just a candlestick that's broken. There's a bit that goes on the top. Well, that's the top like that. And it's broken. And I haven't got around to sticking it back on yet. But that's going to be perfect. So anything that you can find that will give you a little bit of height that we're going to stand the candle on. And because it's not a real candle, it won't matter that it's only a small, because it's going to be standing on that part. But it won't matter because it's not fake. You know, it's fake. It's not real. So it's not going to burn if it if it topples over. So just get something that you can give you a bit of height and it will probably be hidden anyway. So it won't matter too much. So the other things we're going to use, I'll probably use either some florist tape or some florist wire, something like that. And that's about it. So let's start making it now. But the good thing about this is we're not actually going to be cutting any of these stems down. So we can just undo it and use them again. And I think that's the best part of it, really. So what we're going to do is to lay one pick that side and we're going to lay another one this side. And we want just a small gap in the middle. We don't want it to be too big. It could probably even push in a little bit further like that. And then we're going to get our eucalyptus and we're going to put one this side and the other one the other side. So it doesn't matter if it looks flat at the moment because we're going to sort that out as long as it looks about level either side. And then you've got your branches in the middle like that. And what we need to do is to use either florist tape or wire or something like that and just slip that off just bound it together the florist tape's quite good because it's green so it sort of hides it a little bit and just wrap that around now this concept will work with fresh twigs fresh flowers things that you can get from going on a walk 
they don't have to be fake flowers that cost you know x amount you can pick up things just from nature you know for this it doesn't have you don't have to spend money so just use the same principle to do you know what you want to do and what's right for your budget or your decor so i'll just put another little bit on the middle here and i try to do projects that are easy for most people to do and i know that that's you know you, that i've got people that watch that are all different kinds of abilities but you can do things easy and make them look nice and that's how i want to kind of go really i want you to to be able to get these things and do them if cheaply if you if you want to you know so once that's like that we need to puff up some of the actual leaves and, and sprigs so because they are wire they will let you bend them a bit so don't be afraid to just pull some of the the sprig bits up and sort of rearrange them and you most definitely want to rearrange the flowers to make sure that you can see them all and that they look you know they look nice they don't have to come up too much but just just enough so you can see them so i'll just primp about this other side and then we'll do the next bit right so once they're all together i'm going to put on the pink flowers now i absolutely love these they're really pretty and i'm going to put one this side this is why i've got three i'm going to put one either side but i'm going to start by doing the two side ones first let's pop that one in there And then we're going to put this little candle holder on. So you just need a little bit of height. And we're going to push that through the front so it sits in there. So anything that you've got that gives you a little bit of height, that'll be fine. We are going to hide it with a flower so it won't matter too much. And then I'm going to put this candle on. And this is really nice. It was quite a surprise, actually, because although it's fake, it's actually fragrance with vanilla and hazelnut. So it smells really, really nice. So we're just going to pop that on the top so it's right in the middle or seems to be in the middle of the arrangement and then all we're going to do is put another one of these clips down the bottom so it's just going to be a case of sort of fiddling through down there clipping that on and because they bend they will bend where you want them to go and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand the camera back a bit so you can actually see this properly because you can only see the middle section at the moment so that's it. So that's our Christmas centrepiece all done. And it really did take no time at all. I'm going to go and put this on my table now in the house and show you it's up there. Okay, don't so I've brought the centrepiece up onto my dining room table here. So as you can see, it matches in lovely with all the colours that I have. Incidentally, if you haven't seen this video where I show you how to upcycle the table and get this effect, I'll drop that video as well for you in the description just in case you wanted to watch that. So I've really enjoyed doing this Christmas centrepiece. It's definitely, I think it's going to stay out now because I really love it. And I just, it's not too Christmassy and it matches the wallpaper. So it can stay for a while. So that's it from me. I hope you're all okay and I'll see you again soon. You take care. Bye for now.